Mojo Box Winter 2017, and I'm super excited about this box. We have an exclusive product in here from Cloves and Honey, and a handmade product by an artist I ran to, into in Oregon. So let's see what's in the box and make something. Um, these boxes are quarterly, so like I said, this is the winter box and the menu that goes through each of the items that's in the box. I also have a little promo card for City and C, which is my online class that just started on December 1st. And then a bunch of stuff in here that's going to be really awesome. So this was the exclusive product I was talking about. Cloves and Honey makes artisanal handmade watercolors, and we have Art Bento Box Blue, which is actually part of a set that they have going on called Winter's Quiet, so definitely check that out. We're going to be using it in just a little bit in the video. We have a whole pack of watercolor artist trading cards and a brush, a Japanese brush that is specifically for watercolor. So that's pretty cool. The supplies we have in here are, let's check it out. Two pencils. One is a China marker from Sharpie. These are great and we're gonna do uh, our project with that. And the other one is a Blick pencil that is um, great because Blick makes really nice products and it's not water soluble so it'll work well with watercolor staying put. Great pigmentation. This is emerald green so each box will have a different color. And then for the ephemera pack and the paper pack we have really fun stuff. So the ephemera pack this quarter has this handmade little book. Everybody has a different one. And I ran into an artist when I was in Portland, Maine, shooting City and Sea. Her name is Sharon Pattison, and she has been making handmade books for 30 years. And she had this whole set of them that I got for our bento box that all have little individual pages. Some of them are blank, like this one. Some of them are made with writing and doodles and a bunch of different things, and there are a few different sizes. So it's a little tiny mini book. This one has a metallic gold and black cover with blue pages, and they're just a lot of fun. So it's great ephemera, and she actually uses materials that most people would consider too small or discard them to... Um, which I think is a really nice addition from an ephemera standpoint, because that is kind of what ephemera is about, that ephemeral materials that most people would throw away or not use again. And so we also have um, a hand kind of cut circle from watercolor or acrylic paint that I made, and then letter stamp card, a sticker, or I think the stickers are some different, um, a red card to add accents of red to your holiday pages, some actual traditional ephemera. So these are vintage, um, both a canceled check from Citizens National Bank and a, um, a prescription sheet and some fun cards. So you can use this and put it in a junk journal. You can use it and actually send it to somebody or anything you want to do there. So that's a lot of fun. And then the paper pack has three different sheets in it and all kind of like wintry blue fun and a little bit of metallic. So in here we have Traditionally, there's a couple extra sheets, so that's what these are. They're going to be a little bit different for everybody. And then these three sheets will be the same. So varying like blues and silvers and like a very wintry feel. So let's get down to doing a little quick project. So what I love about watercolor is it's very versatile. You can use it both in mixed media work and especially the cloves and honey it's just really highly pigmented so we're going to use it with an artist trading card and we're going to use these supplies from the box this watercolor and then just a pencil so let me move the rest of this stuff We're going to do two at the same time, just so you can see variation. So you're going to need these supplies from the box, a pencil, and just some water. So a little bit of water here. 
and we're going to do a resist technique. So using the China marker, we're going to do kind of an abstract graphic, which you won't be able to see quite yet, but you will as soon as I start to add the watercolor. And we're going to do a little bit different one on here. Going from edge to edge. So I'm kind of planning my composition in a very kind of haphazard way because I can't see it, but I know that I did different kind of marks on here. <clears throat> and we're going to add a little bit of this as well on one of them just to see a little variation. And just kind of laying down some marks to draw the eye. Now let's add our watercolor and see what we get. These are natural hairs in this brush and it's really going to pick up that pigment really nicely. You can see that. And we're going to brush it on to our card. And anywhere where we have the China marker, it's going to resist that color. And kind of push it away. Get a paper towel. Some texture in there. apply color to this one while this one's drying. You can see where it's resisting. Just blot a little bit in those resist areas. Now we're going to let this one dry. <clears throat> this one should be fairly close. So I'm going to come back in with this pencil and add some texture in here. some more of this green color and really kind of playing with the mediums building up some color we have a nice background going here I'm actually gonna get a more traditional kind of round brush because I want to do some detail in here. Let's get this guy out of here. I love blues on blue using very similar colors and palettes together. And you can see the range of this color from the lights to the darks. It's really nice. I'm 
I'm building a composition, you want to think about how your eye is moving through the piece. So I'm doing this in a few different areas to kind of push your eye around the little artist trading card size here. And you can see that resist is hitting right there. And it gives some nice variation. As we kind of build multi layers of watercolor and shape. It's almost like different parts of it come to life in different ways as we build those layers. Thinking about size variation as well here. So I have different lengths of lines, different circle sizes. <clears throat> and just build some nice variation. This one we need to dry here. I can get this, get a heat gun on this real quick. All right, so this is dry. And now we're going to come in, we're going to build a little bit different composition than this one. You can see the resist all through here, and it just adds a nice variation. We're actually going to do something a little more figurative on this one. almost build like a close up of an ornament here. Very gestural. Go back in with some of this blue. I really just play with the color here and overlaying color on color. For this one, I am going to go in and add one more element, which is a stabilo into these shapes, just to add a little color interest. And there we go. Just some fun little experiments and using a resist technique, some watercolor, building composition, and just really playing with the elements of this box. Um, I hope you guys all enjoy our bento box. If you missed this box, 
then definitely check out the 2018 boxes have been posted and they'll be, have a lot of fun products and a lot going on there. And so you'll have an opportunity to grab another one. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you check out the rest of the Arpento Box videos. Let me know what you think and definitely grab some 2018 boxes. Thanks so much. Bye!